Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 19 editing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put text behind an image, whether that's a person, um, an object, or anything like that. I'm going to be showing you two different ways on how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do it in the editing tab and also the fusion tab. So, you, so it doesn't matter what sort of editing preference you have, I'm going to be showing you how to do it in two different ways. So before I go into that, let's just open up DaVinci Resolve and let's just start editing. So I've just got my clip already loaded in and I've done a simple color grade. And as you can see, I'm just eating some food and I wanna put some text behind my head just saying, food sample. So I'm going to show you how to do this in the edit tab first, um, just because it's probably easier to do in the edit tab, especially if you're brand new to DaVinci Resolve. So um, yeah, so all we have to do is let's just uh, duplicate the footage. So we'll go control C, control V, and instead of putting it directly on top, I'll just put it onto video layer three. Um, I'm going to disable the video track for a second, and I'm just going to import some text. You can choose any text from the drop down menu here, but just to keep it simple, I am just going to leave it as is with a basic title. Um, I'm going to change it to food sample. I'm going to make a bit of a big space just so we can get the space somewhere in between my head here. Um, scroll up to, we'll go impacts and we'll bring the video so we'll just bring the text up some. So bring it here, we'll go over to settings and we'll just bring it up a bit. And I kind of like how it's sitting. Of course you can go in and track it, but um, in this video, I'm just going to keep it simple without actually doing any tracking. We'll just make it a little bit easier for this tutorial. So we'll just leave it there. That's pretty good. I usually don't like objects or people blocking the full text. So I like to just kind of eat in a little bit into the text. So I think that's pretty good there. I'm just going to enable the video track. So we're just gonna go into the color tab. And so we're just gonna make sure that we're in video layer number three, just because that's our top layer. And then we're going to right click and add a new corrector node. This is where we're putting our magic mask. I've got my corrector node here, that's my vlog. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to create a um, add alpha output. This is basically what you want to do if you're doing any cutting um, and you want to have that sort of alpha background cutout. Um, so that's how you'd want to do it. So now let's go into magic mask and um, that's the magic mask over here. Let's just go to better. You can leave it at default. It does the object mask or you can go to person mask, but honestly, either one works fine. Funnily enough, I find the object mask works better even on people. Uh, so let's just click and drag and then do some squiggles. And then as you can see, the red is what's going to be cut out. If this isn't coming up, you want to make sure that the qualifier is on. So if it's not working, that's the reason why. Uh, we don't really need to worry too much about the bottom part just because our main focus is here. So if it does eat in to here a little bit, doesn't really matter. But let's just quickly check to see our points. And that's actually looking, you know, pretty sharp. So um, I like the cutout here. It's looking really nice. It looks very, almost perfect. If you are having any issues, you can go down here and adjust the parameters here to get a better cutout. But um, I'm happy with that. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go and track it. So this is our tracking next to the playback button. Uh, so we just track that. So that goes forwards and backwards since I started somewhere in the middle. So that's actually looking really good. So let's just scrub through. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually happy with the cutout of this. So for it to work, if I go back to the edit tab now, you can see nothing's happened. So to make it work, you want to go back to the color tab and make sure that you've selected your magic mask here. Click that and just connect that to the alpha output. Then now when you go back to the edit tab, you can see your text behind effects. So when I zoom in, you can see the cutout here is pretty much perfect. There we go. And of course, um, when I play it back, that's what it looks like. Again, it'll look better if you track it, but um, in this case, for this tutorial, we're not tracking it. So 
Now let me show you how to do this again inside of the Fusion tab. So let's just delete these. Whoops. Yeah, so this is our clip here and it's really easy to bring it into Fusion. All you have to do is just click into the Fusion tab and now you've got your media in and media out. And what we want to do first is we want to create a text. So let's just create our text and it automatically creates a merge node for you. So that's um, helpful when you do it like that. So now let's just create our text. I'll do the same as before, food, sample. Um, I always forget to do the spaces. Um, I'm just going to bring it to impact. Let's go to impact here. Yeah. Then we'll just bring the size up. So we're going to transform, offset. Yep, so I'll just leave it about there. Um, actually, let's just bring the size up just a little bit more. So the next thing you want to do is just copy your media source. So because we're just cutting out myself here, um, just going to go Control C and we're just going to hit Control V. And what I'm going to do is when I, um, before I click it, I'm just going to hit Shift, click and drag just so you get this popping up in between and it will also create a merge node for you. So that's um, pretty much ready to go. So now we've lost our text. Basically what it's doing is, so our footage, it's kind of like, think of it like the timeline. Uh, this is your video layer three sitting on top of text on the video layer two. So to basically add the uh, magic mask, it's super simple from here. So we just go click on our media in, go shift space. I've already got magic mask here. So just make sure you type in magic mask so it comes up and you get pretty much the same options as you would in the color tab. Uh, so you just want to make sure that you got your plus tool here and we'll just click and select exact same as before. And as you can see, it's done a really good job. Now let's uh, bring the magic mask. I'm going to bring it into number two window. Whoops, sorry. Um, yeah, so now you can see um, what the mask looks like and it's done a pretty good cutout job. So as you can see, this is the alpha output. It automatically does that. So that's your alpha channel there. And then that's your final window. And now we got to track it. So let's just track it. There we go. Tracking, you can see me moving over here. So we just let it do its thing. Yep, so now when we play it back, let's just play this back. So you can see now I'm in front of the text and the text is behind me. And that's how you do it inside of the Fusion tab. So that's basically it for this video. So, so when it comes to doing the text behind effect inside of the Fusion tab, inside of DaVinci Resolve, um, that allows you to stack on multiple effects, add trackers in there, do creative animations and filters and all of this sort of stuff instead of having to do it in your editing timeline. But if you're just doing a simple text behind effect, just doing it in the edit tab is more than enough. Doing it in Fusion just allows you to expand on that and get more creative with the text behind effect. So that's basically it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give this video a like. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next one.